In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus HCl. This is potassium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Understand that when this reaction takes place, we first get KCl plus H2CO3, which is a carbonic acid, but that decomposes into carbon dioxide and water so that we end up with this as our full equation. So we're going to kind of skip this step and then just write the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus HCl and that KCl carbon dioxide and water. Just to be clear. So first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. And to do that, we put a two here and a two here. And that would be a balanced molecular equation. Then we need to write the state for each substance. This K2CO3, that's potassium carbonate. It should be aqueous. But, you know, we could take a look at a solubility table just to make sure. Let's see, we got potassium right here and then the carbonate. So if we go over and down. So that does say S, which means it's soluble. If it's soluble, it dissolves in water. It's going to split apart into its ions. So we'll put an aqueous after that. Hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid, so that's going to dissociate completely. And then chlorides, very soluble, so put an AQ after that. Carbon dioxide is a gas, and then water, that's a liquid. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. So the strong electrolytes, those are the ones with the aqueous, the ones that we said would dissociate into their ions. So let's do that. Potassium is in group one on the periodic table, so it has a one plus ionic charge. Carbonate, CO3, you can look that up. That's going to be a 2 minus. So let's split this into its ions. We have K plus, and I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. And this subscript means I have two of them. Plus, I have this carbonate, CO3, 2 minus. So that's split up. Hydrogen, group 1, so it has a 1 plus ionic charge. Chlorine has the negative there. So we have H plus. And the two means we have two of those, plus we have the chloride ion, Cl minus, and this two, it applies to the whole thing, so we have two of those. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. Let's do the products. We said this was plus, minus, and then for solids, gases, and liquids, we don't split those apart in our net ionic equations. So let's give ourselves a little more room here to work, and then let's split up the potassium chloride. We have K plus, and we have two of those, plus the chloride ion. We have two of those. We won't split the gas up, carbon dioxide, plus we won't split the liquid up, water. And this is our complete or total ionic equation. So once we have this, we can now move to crossing out the spectator ions. These are ions that are on both sides of the equation. So I see 2K plus here in the reactants, and in the products. It's not changed. It's the same thing. Let's just cross that out. Carbonate, hydrogen. Look at the two Cl minus, those two chloride ions right there too. Cross those out and we're left with the net ionic equation for K2CO3 plus HCl. So we have this and this is what we get in the products. Let me clean this up a little bit. We'll write the states in, and then we'll have a nicely written net ionic equation for potassium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. So this is the correct net ionic equation for this potassium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.